So today we are going to discuss um, a new topic that is uh, Golgi apparatus. In the last uh, lecture uh, we discussed uh, endoplasmic reticulum and we uh, we were discussing all the cell organelles which are basically surrounded by a cell membrane. So Golgi apparatus is also surrounded by a cell membrane and today we are going to discuss um, Golgi apparatus. So what basically uh, Golgi apparatus is and uh, uh, what are the functions of Golgi apparatus. So Golgi apparatus it is nothing just a collection of membrane enclosed sacs or cisterns that are stacked like uh, dinner plates. So you see in the kitchen when uh, the dinner plates are kept uh, on each other they, forms, uh, they form a stake or a bundle. So it is uh, just a membrane enclosed sacs which are also known as cisterns, you can see here membrane enclosed sacs that are put on uh, or stacked together like a dinner, like dinner plates or set. So they are also uh, 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 organelles which are basically surrounded by a cell membrane. We have previously discussed that there are uh, some sort of uh, cell organelles like mitochondria, nucleus, uh, endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus, roxosomes and uh, lysosomes which are surrounded by membrane. So Golgi apparatus is also surrounded by a double lip, um, membrane or lipid bilayer and it is, uh, uh, it is, it has a lot of sacs which are connected with each other, which are connected with each other through microtubules. Golgi apparatus, it is also known as Golgi body, it is basically involved in the processing of proteins it is basically involved in processing of protein. Previously, we discussed that uh, formation, the order for formation of uh, protein that starts from a nucleus. Order comes in the form of uh, messenger RNA from the nucleus, and the messenger RNA that uh, is decoded with the help of ribosomes in the um, endoplasmic reticulum. And uh, from endoplasmic reticulum, protein formation starts. The proteins are collected in vesicles. And it uh, it starts its movement towards the Golgi apparatus. In the Golgi apparatus, the processing of those proteins which have been formed in the uh, endoplasmic reticulum starts. So it it also resembles the endoplasmic reticulum. You can see the structure of the um, uh, Golgi apparatus is uh, resembling that of endoplasmic reticulum. It is more resembling to that of a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. There is a special sequence, uh, you can see that the endoplasmic reticulum is connected with the nucleus, then orders come, order comes from the nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum obeys the order, forms uh, lipids or proteins and then it is transferred with the help of some vesicles and some, some other transferred proteins to the Golgi apparatus and in the Golgi apparatus processing of those proteins and substances start. Golgi apparatus is more prominent in secretory cells. So not all the cells are having a, a, a lot of Golgi apparatus. It, uh, it is present in most of the mammalian cells, but is more prominent in those cells which secrete a lot of enzymes. For example, in pancreas or liver, which keeps on pro uh, secreting substances, uh, enzymes, uh, and, uh, uh, those, and those organs which are secreting hormones so Golgi apparatus is more uh, uh, more active in those cells secretory cells it is a cis and a trans phase a cis and a trans phase the the phase of the Golgi apparatus which is towards the endoplasmic reticulum it is also known as cis phase and the phase of the uh, Golgi apparatus which is towards the cytoplasm it is the trans phase this is a sort of convex in structure. This is, is a uh, convex in structure and the trans is a bit concave in structure. Cis phase uh, receives the vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum. It is uh, the vesicles are um, then uh, processed in the end, uh, Golgi apparatus and it is released through the tra trans phase. So Golgi apparatus receives the vesicles or proteins and substances from the through the cis end and releases it through the uh, trans end, trans phase. So uh, how uh, 
all the process are going on in the um, Golgi apparatus. First of all, uh, we uh, discussed. Uh, first of all, we discussed that um, processing of or formation of protein starts in the uh, endoplasmic reticulum. When proteins are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum, they are released through vesicles, and the vesicles they fuse with the cis phase. These vesicles they fuse with the cis phase of the Golgi bodies. From the cis phase, they enter the middle cisterns. So these are the cisterns of the cis phase. These uh, in the middle are the cisterns which are known as middle cisterns, and then the uh, mid cisterns of the trans phase. So vesicles start from the endoplasmic reticulum. They come in contact with the cis, enter the middle cisterns where they are processed, and then they leave through the trans cisterns. So enter from endoplasmic reticulum, fuse with the cis phase, goes or reaches the middle cisterns, then they um, reach the trans phase. And from the trans phase, there may be uh, different paths from for all the processed structures or all the processed proteins. It may either enter the cytoplasm. It may enter the cytoplasm. The vesicles that are, have been released through the trans uh, phase from the Golgi apparatus, they may enter the cytoplasm, or they may form the lysosomes, or they may go outside the cell to the exterior through the exocytosis. So nucleus is giving the command to the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is obeying the command. It is forming some proteins. Proteins are being transferred to the Golgi apparatus. Here it is uh, processed and then it is either uh, going to the cytoplasm or it is going to the lysosomes or either it is released outside. What sorts of sorts of proteins and substances are being made in the Golgi apparatus and what are the different functions of Golgi apparatus or Golgi body. So first of all as we discussed its main important function is processing of the material like proteins, lipids and carbohydrates. All those substances which are formed by the endoplasmic reticulum they are basically processed they are processed or um, uh, some chemicals or uh, chemical groups or other uh, constituent are removed or some are added some groups are removed or some are added and they are in this way they are processed so one function of the Golgi apparatus is the processing of the material like processing of proteins processing of lipids then after the processing the next step is packaging packaging of the proteins and lipids in the processing steps some proteins which are dilute they may become concentrated and they get packaged they and uh, the packages are formed and then they are sent to different uh, part of the cell or outside the cell that's why golgi apparatus is also known as post office of the cell post office is a post main or a post office uh, receive packages and then they send it to the different uh, homes or the different departments where they have to, um, uh, to be received same function is performed performed here by the Golgi apparatus it is receiving the raw material from the endoplasmic reticulum it is nicely processing it then it is packaging it and finally it is labeling and labeling all the products and delivering delivering all the proteins and lipids there uh, this function labeling and delivering of the proteins and lipids is uh, is also done by the Golgi apparatus and it is uh, and that's why it is also known as shipping department of the cell when a lot of parcels are received from some other foreign countries then um, those are distributed through uh, or um, the shipments is uh, which we which we receive from uh, some other countries or from within the country or from uh, our, our one city to the other city it is basically distributed through a shipment same function is then performed by the Golgi apparatus 
it is acting like a post office or a or a shipment department or whatever you call it so so different people have uh, called it by different names and and it is um, true that it is receiving the proteins it is processing it and then it is sending it to different parts it may be sending it outside the cell where it may be needed it may be sending it to the lysosome where the protein may act as enzyme and function in uh, in the speeding up different reactions or it may directly release those proteins or substances into the cytoplasm where they may be uh, required for different sorts of reactions then golgi apparatus uh, or golgi body has some synthetic functions as well there are some substances which are uh, made by uh, which are made by the uh, um, golgi apparatus most of the time it is receiving the proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum but there are few substances like hyaluronic acid and chondroitin sulfate in which carbohydrate is basically combined with the protein it is receiving the carbohydrate and it is receiving the proteins and it is combined so chondroitin sulfate and hyaluronic acid is one substance which is made by the golgi apparatus uh, hyaluronic acid and golgi apparatus uh, sorry uh, chondroitin sulfate is present in the ground substance of the cell it is also present in the bones so it is uh, not only processing packaging and it is not only acting as a post office or shipment department it is also acting um, in or performing some synthesis functions like it is uh, a factory as well not only as a shipment department but it is performing the function of a, some sort of a factory or industry as well so after that it is and uh, it has some secretory vesicles and it is uh, has some secretory functions as well so those um, those organs like uh, pancreas or some other um, endocrine organs which release their enzymes or hormone directly into the blood they have a lot of active golgi apparatus and the synthesis of those enzymes or the secretion of those hormones is basically done by the golgi body so if pancreas is uh, releasing insulin or liver is releasing some hormone or thyroid hormone is releasing or pituitary hormone is releasing some hormone it is basically made made uh, by the endoplasmic reticulum packaged in the golgi apparatus and then secreted from the cell through those uh, with the help of those golgi apparatus and finally golgi apparatus are helping in the replenishment of the cell uh, membrane you can see here the vesicle is going out of the um, cell and with when going out the membrane is utilized some some part of the cell membrane is utilized and it is uh, like it becomes parts of it become part of the vesicle so it the membrane uh, the amount of cell membrane it decreases when the golgi apparatus is then sending the vesicle the cell membrane of the vesicle will attach with the cell membrane and it will replenish it will replenish and it will fill the gap which has been created by the exocytosis or the release of the vesicles so this is uh, this is a small topic about the golgi apparatus and the golgi apparatus is just a collection of membrane enclosed sacs that are stick like a dinner plates it is helping in the processing of proteins it uh, resembles the endoplasmic reticulum it is prominent in the secretory cells it has a cis phase it has a trans phase and it functions uh, with the help of endoplasmic reticulum from which it receives the vesicles then the vesicle fuses with the cis phase shifts to the middle phase uh, cisterns then from the middle cisterns it uh, goes to the trans phase and from the trans phase it may go to the cytoplasm to the lysosomes or go outside the cell basic functions of the golgi apparatus include processing of the material like proteins and lipids that has been received from the endoplasmic reticulum 
then packaging and then labeling and then delivery of the material it is important to note that once the vesicles have been labeled there are some sort of protein known as snare protein snare proteins so a snare protein may be present on the vesicle where it is known as v v snare or it may be present uh, on the target like for example the membrane where it is known as t snare so these these protein basically help in reaching the target these protein basically help in reaching the target or delivery of the material then golgi apparatus has some secretory vesicles and the mem uh, it helps in um, replenishment of the cell membrane so you see if you are alive you are eating uh, or you are walking talking breathing you can hear listen uh, you can say um, or you can think or whatever your life functions you are doing it is basically with the help of your nucleus your endoplasmic reticulum your vesicles and your golgi apparatus so their goal your golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum nucleus function nucleus are they are working very very hard so you should also work very hard and let not the energy of these uh, poor golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum be wasted i hope you have understand understood this uh, video thanks a lot for listening